Good morning everybody, welcome back to my channel. So if you're new here, my name's Julie um, and I do videos about lifestyle and fashion and makeup, all that good stuff. Um, I hope you stick around and watch the video. And if you're a returner, welcome back. Thank you very much for subscribing. I really do appreciate it. Um, so today I've got a haul for you. Um, it's a combination of, of things. So I've got a haul from Cotton Traders. I did a a community post asking if people would be interested in that and the overwhelming majority were. So I got a few pieces from Cotton Traders and I also got a few bits from New Look that I couldn't get from Cotton Traders. So I thought, I think there's about seven items, so I thought I'd put them all together and then show you what I've got. Have a try on, see what you think. Also today, at the end of this video, I will be doing a giveaway. Um, I mentioned in a previous video that I was trying to get to 500 subscribers. Well, we're well over that now, so that's great. I've been waiting for the little gift to come through. So um, I've got that now, so I'm gonna do a giveaway as well. So stick around till the end and you can, you can see that. Um, so let's crack on with the um, video. So first of all, I'll look at the Cotton Traders items. Um, the very first thing I wanted to show you, I don't know if you remember, but when I did my autumn haul, I did a, a list of items that I would like in my uh, autumn winter wardrobe. And one of those was some navy boots. So I put, picked these ones up from Cotton Traders. And now I'm thinking, I don't know the price. I'll pop the price on the screen for you. These are in a size six. I'm a, a five to a five and a half, but I find in boots I need a little bit more room. So I usually go for half a size up. Um, and they didn't do half sizes, so I got the six. So I love the look of them. The heel is just the right height for me, um, not too high. Um, yeah, and they're like, um, I don't know if you can see on the camera, I've got the lights on today because it's so dark, but they're like a, like a suede, but a smooth suede. I like the stitching around here, and then they've got like a wooden, wooden look to the um, sole on the heel and then finished with, with black at the bottom. So I'm really liking the look of those. I've not even unpacked those yet. So I'll try those on with you in a second. Just pop those two on side. So the first item I'm gonna try on, oh, it's a new look item. So um, I'm, as you can see, I've not even taken it out of the bag. So I'll pop it out of the bag and then we'll have a look at that one. So another one of my items that was on my list is um, like a burgundy coloured jumper. I didn't have anything like this. So it's this kind of colour. It's like a dark maroon um, from New Look. Did I get a size 16? I got a medium in this. Um, it's definitely not wool. And I, to be honest, I don't really buy wool just because I'm very sensitive to the material. And um, wool and um, anything fancy like... Um, What's the other thing I'm trying to think of? Ah, uh, very soft. Cashmere, cashmere, that's it, <laughs> cashmere. So this one is not cashmere and it's not wool. It is uh, acrylic and polyester blend, but it feels lovely and soft. Just a round neck. I'd have preferred a V-neck, but I couldn't see anything with a V-neck. They had these in quite a few different colors. So yeah, so I'll pop that on for you. Yeah. It's probably a little bit longer than I would have preferred, but I'll see what it looks like on. A nice long sleeve with a ribbed cuff. It feels almost like um, a woolly, almost to felt, that sort of thicker, soft material. I'm not describing it very well. It's got kind of um, the sort of material that I can imagine will go bobbly, but I'll try it on and see what I think. Let me know what you think of it. Okay, so this is the burgundy jumper. Now I've got it on with these paper bag trousers, which I had a black top tucked into. So let me just tuck it in at the front and see what I think. I think it would be better tucked in. It's very long. Sorry, flashing my bra. Um, split to the side, completely covers my bum at the back. I think it would be fine if you were wearing it with something that's not these. I mean, these trousers sort of much look much better with something that sort of sits high and tucked in. Um, yeah, I'm not sure about that one. It's a nice soft jumper. It fits me fine. I'm glad I didn't get the large. I think that would have been too, too big. Um, it's just the length. I do prefer a, a shorter 
not cropped exactly, but something that sits on my waist. And I feel like this is very long and loose. If I was wearing leggings and I was sitting around at the weekend, but then do I need another jumper to sit, sit around at the weekend? That's the back. If you're looking for something that covers your bum, then it's a, I don't like the way these splits are quite apart at the side. I don't think that's anything to do with the size because it feels plenty room enough. Hmm, not sure about this one at all. Plus, I'm not so keen on the high neck. I just feel like it makes me look all boobs. Um, I think a V-neck would, would be much better. So I think that one is a no. I don't think I'm going to keep that one. Not sure. Let me know your thoughts. Okay. Okay, the next item is some jeans from Cotton Traders. These are, like my uh, fat face ones, they're a wide leg jean. These are a 16 short, or the 29 inch leg, so they're a dark indigo. They've definitely got a nice stretch to them. Um, yeah, a nice wide leg, which as you know I prefer. Um, so I'll pop these on with my black t-shirt just to, just to see what you think. Okay. Okay, so this is the jeans. So I, I, I love the colour. They do come reasonably high up, not as high waisted as I would like, but higher waisted than the Marks and Spencers ones I tried on. Um, they fit me nice if they're not too tight. Um, they fit nice on the bum. The only reservation I've got is I'm looking in the mirror here, but I think they've got a very wide leg and I, I don't know whether it's too wide. What I'm going to do is pop my boots on for you just so you can see um, the thing is they are a 29 inch leg and I'm probably 28 and they always offer 27 or 29 at cotton trading and um, so they're a touch too long um, I meant to say as well these boots have got like um, a zip which I really like easy to get on and off so I'll pop those on with them because they, there's no point in putting heeled boots on because I just wouldn't wear heeled boots with this type of trouser. I just can't wear heeled boots. So um, These are very comfortable. Oh my goodness, like rocking on clouds. These boots feel lovely actually. I think they're a winner. Not what they look like, they feel good. And that's a big part of it for me. So, can you see the boots? Hopefully you can see them. I'll take the, ca the um, camera off the tripod in a second and show you how they, how they look and I'll show you in the mirror as well. Um, yeah, I like the boots. Just not sure about the jeans. I think the jeans might be a bit, a bit too wide. Mm. Looking at them from the side, they are a very wide leg. I saw Alex, you know Alex from The One Show, she's doing um, an edit with Cotton Traders at the moment. And I'll just pop you back up so I can talk to you. And um, she had them on with some heeled boots and a long coat and she looked lovely. Um, but she's much taller and willy willower. No, not willower. Quite willowy and I'm not. <laughs> That's probably, yeah, I'm not sure about these. And if I'm not sure, I won't wear them, so I'll probably go back. What I'll do now is take you off the tripod to show you the boots, because I really do like the boots. I'm definitely thinking to keep the boots, so let's do that. Okay, so the boots are definitely a keeper. I love those. I like this stretcher panel at the side. They're only short, so they wouldn't, for me, they wouldn't go with a skirt. They, they would need to be trousers or um, something like that. They, they sort of cut me off in the wrong place on my ankle. But for under jeans or trousers, which I wear most of the time anyway, to be fair, they're perfect. They're very comfortable. And I just like the navy. So they're a keeper. 
the jeans I'm not sure about at all. I'm just going to keep the jeans on while I try uh, the next item on for you. So the next item is from Cotton Traders. It's a cream turtleneck jumper. Well, somebody mentioned in one of my comments to try a turtleneck instead of a, a full polo neck. So I thought I'd try that and I do want a cream and I do like the colour of this cream. It's kind of a cool tone cream, if you know what I mean. So I'll try that on. As I said, all the sizes and descriptions and prices are pop on the screen so that you can see exactly what they are. Um, so I'll open that for you and try come back with that on. Okay, got the jumper on. First thing I would say is it's nice and soft. I, I, sadly, I think it's too big for me. Um, it's got like this rib detail down the front and then the turtleneck, ribbed cuffs, lovely and, and soft material. I really don't like this high neck. I think a V would look much more flattering on me. Let me show you the full, the full jumper. Sorry about the dodgy camera work. Okay. It just feels a bit, a bit big and baggy. Um, yeah, I had high hopes for this. I thought I was really gonna like it, but I just feel like this is just a lot of block color. Um, like I said, if it was a V, I think that would work much better for me. It's kind of like a semi back wing sleeve. It's got this like stitched on sleeve. Call it a grown on sleeve. I mean, it's fine, it's just nothing spectacular. And as I said, I feel like it's a bit too big and I feel like it, a V-neck would be better. So, sorry, you're on the wonk there. That's better. Um, yeah. Oh, this is not going very well, is it? I've still got the jeans on, but I think the jeans are definitely gonna go back. So the next item is a chunky purple knit cardigan and um, now a chunky cardigan was one of the things I wanted I've actually got another cardigan to show you as well in a second this one's like a, a true lilac it's called fresh lilac again it's 16 so let's see if it fits I'll try that one for you okay next up is the cardigan which I think I really like actually it's got puff sleeves sort of meant to be like that and a ribbed cuff Lovely and soft. Um, so it sits shorter, and you can kind. Of, you could even tuck it under if you wanted to at the waist. Um, I like how it sits on my waist rather than down here. Um, and it's got these lovely wooden sort of buttons, woodeny buttons. Um, I like the ribbed. Um, it is a little bit big on the arms, but I think that is the style. I think it's meant to be like that. Um, yeah, I really like this one and I like the colour and I like the fact that it creates this V so you could wear another V under it or even something like a scoop neck like I've got underneath this, just a black scoop neck t-shirt. Um, again, this is a 16 so you just, you can't tell, you just do not know what sizes to order. Everything's different, it drives me crazy. But yeah, I really like this. The quality from Cotton Traders, I've had a few pieces from them and I find that the quality is really nice. Things generally wash nicely and last a good long while. So I think this one might be a keeper. Let me show you from the back. Yeah, what do you think about that one? Hmm, I do like that, I think. I think that's gonna be I can imagine wearing this over a dress, you could wear it with a skirt, you could wear it with jeans, whatever you fancied really. Black trousers, it would go with lots of colours. I think it would go with navy fine as well. Um, I think they had this, this cardigan in a sage green, so I may well get that as well. But that's a really nice, neat, comfy cardigan. I like that one. Just wondering what the material is, because it's lovely and soft. It's mainly viscose and some polyester so yeah machine washable yeah i like that one what do you think yeah i think that's a keeper okay i've got two more items to show you so the next one's another cardigan so i'll pop that on next now as i said i wanted a chunky knit cardigan like my gray one but in black um and i looked everywhere i looked at all the more expensive sites i looked at phase eight i couldn't find this sort of chunkier knit 
uh, anywhere. They were all very fine, slimmer, loose, um, more like a cotton. Um, and this one is a is a definite knit and it's cable, it's got like a cable pattern down. It's difficult to show you with black, but well, it feels nice and soft. Let me drop the camera down and then you can see me full length. I don't think it's quite as long as my grey one. It sort of sits mid mid thigh. I'm just looking in the mirror here. Yeah, I like this. I thought I was going to like this. Um, it's very me. It's very everyday. I can just chuck it on over whatever I've got on with a black bag and black boots. I think it'll be really useful in the winter. Um, the cable runs right up the sleeve as well. Don't know if you can see that. Let me show you from the back. Again, this is a 16 from New Look. I seem to be a 16 at New Look. Cotton traders, sometimes in tops, I need to be a 14 rather than a 16, but then that cardigan fits fine. So yeah, feels lovely that one. So I think that is gonna be a keeper. I think a really useful cardigan. So I've got a chunky black one and a chunky gray one now. So I think that'll, that'll be fine for the, for the winter months. So yeah, I like that one. Let me know what you think. Hmm. Yeah, I think it's a keeper, that one. Okay, on to the next item. Let me just, before I do that, let me just see the material on this one. If it's a black label, we've had it because I won't be able to see it. Um, so it's polyester and elastic, elastane and acrylic, sort of a, a blend. But as I said before, I can't wear cashmere and I can't wear wool against my skin. They're just too itchy. So, um, this is perfect for me. Yeah, lovely. Okay, on to the next one. So I've got uh, the final item for you, which is a dress. So we'll pop that one on next. So as you know, I've also been looking for some plain dresses. Um, I don't know what it is about this one. It doesn't seem to fit. It fits fine on this shoulder and not on this shoulder. It sort of hangs down. Can you see that? I've probably got odd shoulders. Again, I don't know why I've gone for a round neck. At least it's not high, high. Um, but I re I'm really struggling to find plain dresses, uh, midi dress length. I mean, this is a maxi on me. It's really, really long. So um, let me show you the full length. I could only get this one in an 18. They didn't have a 16. So let me just go back and show you. So it, it fits at the waist. It's slightly fitted at the waist. And then it's like a... A tiered frill to the hem. I just feel like this drowns me. I don't think it does anything for me. I feel like I could have really done with a 16 and possibly even a 14. I think if it was more fitted to the waist. But again, I really don't like the frill on the bottom. Somebody might like it though. It's just not for me. It's got um, like a shared cuff sleeve. The material's like... Um, it's hard to describe. It's got like a line running through it. I don't know if you can see that maybe in the arm. Yeah, like a like a rough cottony. I'm not sure how to describe it at all, but it's got it's it's ribbed. It it's ribbed but not knitted. Um yeah, like the length of the sleeves. As I say, I think it's just too big all over this. Um I guess you could pull the waist in with a belt. It comes almost to my ankles and again that that sort of frill on the bottom which I just think make, makes you look even wider at the bottom so oh, this has not been a good haul at all really generally overall i'm a bit disappointed so what do i like um this is going back it's too big they didn't have a 16 in this because i would have ordered it um the jeans I really like, they're just too wide for me. I think if I was an extra, I'm five foot two by the way, and a 16 to 18, as you've seen, 14 in some sizes on the top. Um, I think if I was another, you know, five, six, five, seven, I think I would have liked the jeans. I just think because I'm so short and because they're so wide, they don't do anything for me. The cream sweater, I don't like how high it comes and I, I've learned my lesson. I won't be ordering any more sweaters with a high neck. The burgundy sweater was just a bit nothing -y. too long really in the body and I didn't like the big slits at the side. I'm definitely keeping the navy boots, I love them. The lilac cardigan I'm going to keep as well um, and the chunky black 
knit I think will be really useful for winter. So not not too bad. Um, what's that? One, two, three items out of seven. So I guess that's not too bad. So I'll be sending the rest back. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. Did you like anything? You might have seen something that you think would be better on you. You might be a little bit taller than me. Um, but yeah, those are my thoughts on those. So before I go, I did say I'd do a giveaway. So that's something I want to do before I, I disappear. So the giveaway. Um, thank you very much to everybody who subscribed. I really, really appreciate it. I think I'm up to something like 560 subscribers now, which is amazing. Um, I th it's been hard work. I, I, you know, I'm doing three videos a week, but I'm really enjoying it and I hope, you, hope you're enjoying it as well. Um, so what I wanted to do, I had quite a lot of interest in some of the nail varnishes I've been wearing over the last few weeks. Um, so I thought what I would do is do a giveaway of this. So it's a Barry M nail varnish set and this is the Romantic Rose collection. They're all the high jelly shines. Um, let, me, let me see if it tells you the colours. No, I'll pop the colours along the screen for you so you know what they are, but they're all kind of autumn-y winter colours. So you've got a, a strong dark pink, sorry about the reflection, a dark pink there, then this mid-tone pink, more of a lilac -y pink and then a paler pink at the end. I really, really rate these nail varnishes. They go on really nicely though. They're a nice wide brush, if you know what I mean. I hate a, a really thin brush. I think if you can get a good thick wide brush, the nail varnish always goes on much better. Um, so yeah, that is going to be my giveaway. So if you're inter interested in that, if you could leave me a pink heart with a comment or just a pink heart, Anybody who leaves a pink heart, I will put them in the giveaway and I will do the draw in a week's time from this video going up. So this video, I'm not sure when it will go up, but when it goes up, I'll do the, give, the giveaway draw a week later and then I'll pop these into the post for you. This is only open to the UK, I'm afraid. Um, it's just difficult to get things to America or Europe at the moment. So just, just my UK followers, which is the majority of you, I think. So yeah, hope you will enjoy that. It just says, turn up the elegance with the Romantic Rose Nail Paint gift set featuring four chic rosy shades in Barry M's best-selling Jelly High Shine Formula for a glossy gel-like finish. So I think that will be a, a nice gift for somebody. You can keep it for yourself. You could pass it on for some for a Christmas gift. But I've got all these. I've, I've actually bought this kit and um, I use all four of them. I find them all really wearable, nice colours that go with lots of stuff you know and perfect for this pink actually i've worn it in the summertime but the others are quite autumnal winter shades and work really well at this time of year so yeah that's my giveaway so don't forget leave me a pink heart and i will pop you into the giveaway draw okay so that's the end of the video um i will pop links to any any items that are available they're all from uh, all items are from the new in range, both on Cotton Traders and New Look, so they should still be in stock. Um, don't forget to enter the giveaway if you're interested in that. Pop a pink heart down there for me in the comments section and I'll put you in the draw for, for in a week's time. Uh, and yeah, let me know what you think of the items. As I said, Cotton Traders, I think, are really up in their game. They used to be seen as quite an old-fashioned brand, but I think that they're, they're really... I don't know, they're much more modern than they used to be. I think the purple cardigan sort of is a good example of that it's much more of a modern shape a bit shorter cut um yeah i wouldn't dismiss them pop along and have a look on their website they've got some really nice things and other than they're not the cheapest cheapest um the quality is really good on cotton traders i can i can verify that i've had things from them that have washed and worn and have for a long time so definitely try them new look um as i said um, am I keeping any of the new look stuff? Yeah, just the chunky black cardigan, which is fine. I know it's not going to last me forever, but I really couldn't find a better quality one. Um, but I will be sending the jumpers back. So, yeah, that's today's video. I hope you enjoyed that. I'll be back with you soon with another one. Thanks for watching. Bye.